good morning all so in automata theory and formal language today we discuss about context free language so the definition of context free language is if g is the context free grammar the language of g defined to be the set of all strings in sigma star that can be derived for a start variable s in v so l of g equal to Lower brackets W belongs to sigma star L is equal to W. So here a language L is called context free language. If there is a context free grammar G such that L of G equal to L. Okay. So this is a different model for describing languages. So the language is specified by productions that is called substitution rules that tell how string can be obtained. Suppose if we see an example, a equal to 0, a1, a, a tends to b and b tends to hash. So here a and b are variables, 0, 1, hash are terminals and a is the starting variable. a is the starting variable. Okay. Next, using these rules, we can derive strings like this. See, a tends to 0, a1, double 0, a double 1. Triple zero a double a triple one, triple zero b triple one, triple zero hash triple one. So like this, we can generate based upon the using these rules. So some natural examples. So context-free grammars were first used for natural languages. Suppose if you see the statement, a girl with a flower likes the boy. So here a is art. And girl is noun with prep, a is art, flower is noun, likes is verb, guys art, and boy is noun. So if you combine these two, it is a complex noun, it is also a complex noun, and it is also a complex noun. So prep phrase, noun phrase, and complex verb, verb phrase, and, phrase, and then final sentence. So we can describe of the languages English languages by the context free grammar is sentence to noun phrase web phrase noun phrase complex noun noun phrase complex noun or proper phrase web phrase complex web like this you can frame so article is a article the noun boy noun goal noun flower verb likes verb touches verb sees prep with so likewise we need to divide so variables is sentence noun phrase so terminals a the boy goal flower likes touches sees with a starting variable is sentence so programming languages you see context free grammars are also used to describe parts of programming languages for instance so if you take an expression like this 2 plus 3 into 5 or 3 plus 8 plus 2 into 7 can be described by the context free grammar like this so expression to expression plus expression because we have two expressions expression into expression an expression close the brackets expression expression to zero expression to one like this we can elaborate so here variable is expression terminals is plus into open brackets close brackets and zero to nine next so what is the motivation for studying context free grammars is context free grammars are essential for understanding the meaning of computer programs first you take a code 2 plus 3 into 5 so here the meaning is add 2 and 3 and then multiply by 5 so these are used in compilers so definition of context free grammar is a context free grammar is a four tuple that is vtps where v is a finite set of variables and or non terminals t is a finite set of terminals that is v intersection t equal to pi and P is a set of production or substitution rules of the form A to alpha. So here A is a symbol in V and alpha is a string over V union T. So S is a variable in V called start variable. Shorthand notation for productions. So when we have multiple productions with the same variable on the left, like for C, E equal to E plus E, so variable terminals, E equal to E into E, e tends to close and close brackets e and e n 
so here n is 0 and n is 0 1 0 and 1 so here variables are only two variables we have one is e and n terminals are plus into open braces close braces 0 1 and what is the start variable here e is the starting variable so we can write this complete thing as like this e tends to e plus b or e into e or parenthesis e or o sorry 0 and 1 and n to 0 n 1 n 0 and 1 so we can simply represent this complete thing as like this in shorthand form so derivation is a sequential application of productions here if you see e tends to e to e open braces close braces e e e into n e plus e into n so we can elaborate like this so this is complete derivation so here alpha tends to beta means beta can be obtained from alpha with one production so alpha tends to star beta means, means beta can be obtained from alpha after zero or more productions zero or more productions here one production if you mention star means zero or more productions like this the derivation can come so language of a cfg so the language of a cfg that is vtps variables is a set of all strings containing only terminals that can be derived from the start variable s so l equal to w on w belongs to t star and s belongs to star w so this is a language over alphabet t a language l is context free if it is the language of some context free grammar so now take an example a tends to 0 a1 or p b tends to hash here two variables are there a and b and terminals are 0 1 hash a start variable is a is a string 0 0 hash 1 1 in l see now how about 0 0 hash 1 1 1 or 0 0 hash 0 hash 1 hash 1 1 so what is the language of this cfg so l equal to 0 power n hash 1 power n here n is greater than or equal to 0 so now example 2 s tends to ss or in brackets s or epsilon here variables in uppercase terminals in variables in uppercase and terminals in lowercase start variable first so give derivations of parenthesis and close parenthesis so this is rule 2 and this is rule 3 and this is yes 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 this belongs to rule 1 and then rule 2 and then rule 3 and rule 3 So, in closure, in context free language is a language which is generated by context free grammar or type 2 grammar and gets accepted by the push down automata. So, different closure properties will be there here. So, union operation we can perform, concatenation, clean closure, uh, reversal operation, homomorphism, inverse operation, substitution. So, all these things we can perform. So, the properties of context free language are context-free language is a superset of regular language and context-free language can track two properties at maximum closure properties of context-free language and how to recognize a context-free language so from regular language to so you can say every regular language is a context-free language but not all context-free languages are regular languages context free versus regular so example write a context free grammar for the language 0 plus 1 into 1 1 1 so s is a triple 1 a epsilon 0 a 0 1 and can you do so for every regular language yes every regular language is context free language see regular language to nfa nfa to dfa
so from regular to context free how to convert see pi sigma a e, e1 plus e2 e1 e2 e1 star now it converts to cfg grammar with no rules s belongs to non s belongs to a s2 s1 s2 s1 s2 yes s1 epsilon so in all cases s becomes the new start symbol so context free versus regular is every context free language regular no we already saw some examples a tends to 0 a1 and b b tends to hash this language is context free but not regular so next class we will see about push down automata thank you